by joining as former Deputy Governor of the Bank of England. John said hello and thanked him for joining us. Markets appreciate stability, according to Jeremy Hunt. I believe he started out well, but I believe three things are behind what he's saying today. Really, his first task is to give himself enough time to create a proper budget that includes spending and how to pay for it at the end of the month. He is obviously concerned that he must speak up today in order to give himself those extra days to figure out what will be a very, very difficult package, but the second thing is that one of the major factors making his job more difficult is higher interest rates, which are increasing the costs of servicing. What makes him do that? It appears that Mr. John is on his way to speak with you, so you can ask him whether he made any additional announcements today or discussed any U-turns from what we heard at the end of September. However, I am unsure of what he will say specifically, but I believe it will likely be what he discovered when he obtained the forecast. The preliminary prediction indicates that there is a larger hole than he had anticipated, and he is unable to finance the other tax cuts that were included in the mini-budget. He will, however, keep the energy price cap, and I anticipate him not to backtrack again. Apart from that, he can't afford tax cuts because his finances are in worse shape than he anticipated due to the national insurance measure that, I believe, passed through Parliament last week. I'm afraid that what we will now likely see at the end of the month is tax increases as well as spending cuts. Can you elaborate on that for me? Right, I can't tell you what he's going to do but I think that the underlying aside from the four other measures that passed through Parliament last week, I think. I mean, but I think that was the background to that decision that they realized they not only if you like got their announcements in the wrong order, but they also didn't have a credible package that they could put in place to finance the tax cuts they'd announced, and that, um, the U-turn, which they hoped to be a small U-turn, the corporation tax measures changed, was necessary in order to balance the books and that made his position or it made his decision. I'm not sure if you're going to ask, but I'll ask you anyway at breakfast on Monday, is the Prime Minister's job safe? Well, obviously. I don't know as much about it as you do because you simply read the papers and watch the news, so if we listen to you, our position isn't secure. You had MPS coming on just before I arrived saying they were unhappy, and I think she is obviously in a very dangerous situation because of that. If you love the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.